The last time that we can eat chametz here in West Orange on Shabbos morning is at 10.33 a.m., which means that we're going to be waking up very early to daven and eat, and then we have a very long day ahead of us, which will be full of anticipation and excitement to finally get to the Seder. And when we get there, we begin with Kiddush. But this is not your ordinary Friday night Kiddush. This is a very special Kiddush. And this Kiddush, sometimes we don't even say it in a given year. And that's because this Kiddush, with all of its components, only comes around when Shabbos co- coincides with Yom Tov. So the last time we said this Kiddush was on, Mot- on actually Motzai Shabbos when it fell out on Shavuos, the first night of Shavuos last year. And that's because this Kiddush contains parts that are really part of Kiddush and also parts that are part of Abdullah. And the Gemara Maseches Pesachim has this discussion about what the order of this Kiddush should be. And this is what the Gemara concludes. First goes Yayin, the bracha of Borei Priyagafen. That's the bracha that we make anytime we drink wine. Then comes Kiddush, the body of Kiddush itself. Same Kiddush that we would recite any time a Yom Tov comes, with the concluding bracha of Mekadesh Yisrael Vazmani Hashem, who sanctifies the Jewish people, and the various times of year, meaning the various Yomim Tovim that we have, the various holidays that we have. After that, we bring Havdalah into the picture, and we begin with Ner. Ner is making the bracha on the flame that we do every Mosei Shabbos, the bracha Borei Meori Ha'esh. Then we have Havdalah. The bracha of Havdalah itself seems to be like the actual bracha that we recite every Motei Shabbos, in which we bless Hashem for distinguishing between Kodesh and Chol, that which is holy and that which is mundane. But the conclusion is different, which I'll get to in a moment. And finally, the last bracha is the bracha of Shechiyana. We know whenever we do something for the first time in a while, we make the bracha of Shechiyana. Now, what's so unique about this Kiddush is that bracha of Hamavdil ben Kodesh lechol, because it concludes with the words Hamavdil ben Kodesh lekodesh. Meaning, normally when we talk about Havdalah, we talk about separation, we talk about our ability to distinguish. We talk about our ability to distinguish that Hashem gave us between that which is holy and that which is chol, mundane. But when it comes to Shabbos coinciding with a Yom Tov, we're talking about the distinction between Kodesh and Kodesh, that which is holy and that which is holy. Shabbos is in a higher level of Kedusha, a higher level of holiness than that of Yom Tov. And the only thing that would equal, come close to equaling the holiness of Shabbos is Yom Kippur. That's why on Yom Kippur, when Yom Kippur falls out on Shabbos, Yom Kippur, uh, we end up fasting on Yom Kippur, even though we're not allowed to fast on Shabbos. So when we make this brach of Hamavdil ben Kodesh Kodesh, we're doing something that we don't normally do. It's an incredible ability to distinguish within holiness. And this is something which is consistent among the Jewish people and among the Torah. We distinguish between, for example, Kohanim and the rest of the Jewish people. We distinguish between the holiness of the base Hamikdash and let where people can enter in certain areas. Other areas where only the Kohanim could enter. And then even areas where the Kohanim can't enter, like the Kodesh Kadashim, the Holy of Holies. So there is always this distinction even within that which is holy. And I would like to offer the following message uh, to all of us as we begin this Pesach. The Pesach is about not only redemption, but reawakening the spirit within us, which is linked to a, a history of our people that is thousands of years old. And sometimes when we link ourselves to our people, we see some of our people who are in a state or live lives that appear to be holier than ours. And we may say to ourselves, ah, oh, I'm not even close to that. So therefore, I'm all the way on the other side. And maybe the message of this Havdalah is for us to recognize that to Hashem, we are all considered to be holy. And through this Havdalah, we find our space, our place at our Seder table within the beauty of Hashem's people. All of us being in different places and on different levels, but nevertheless, all of us being able to connect through tradition to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, to Hashem, to His Torah, and to our people, wishing everyone a good Shabbos and a Chag Kosher V'Sameach.